Yesterday in the LEC, G2 picked Rek'Sai top lane. I've seen it a few times in solo queue now as well, so let's try to figure out why people have picked it up. Let's take a look. First off, Rek'Sai in the jungle has been non-existent in Season 14. Her clear speed is slow, skirmishing capability is not what it once was, and scaling is atrocious. Basically, if you want a strong early AD skirmisher in the jungle, pro teams are mostly picking Xin Zhao, Lee Sin, or Vi. Rek'Sai has received a myriad of supposed buffs in the past two patches, but honestly most of them were either bug fixes or animation improvements, and what combat power she did gain from buffs was minimal at best. Needless to say, this champion, at least in the jungle, is not a good option right now. So what makes her good in the top lane? Bear with me here as I'm trying to figure out this for myself with all of you. So really, I'm just reasoning my way through some thoughts here, attempting to justify why G2 picked her. Keep in mind, this is also G2, who do consistently try new things in draft, so it might just be them trying it out to see if it's any good. Anyways, my first thought is that Rek'Sai is a very strong 1v1 champion for several reasons. First, she has unmissable CC with her Unburrow, which is of course going to be very useful in top lane battles. She also has true damage on her E, which is going to be great, especially against tanks. She has very good mobility with her tunnels as well. If Rek'Sai can set up a number of them throughout the lane, she's pretty much ungankable. And my final thought here is wave clear. If Rek'Sai builds Bami Cinder, which Broken Blade did in this game, in combination with her Q autos, her wave clear is actually quite effective. Now taking a look at Broken Blade's runes in this game, all we can see is that he has Grasp of the Undying. This does make sense, assuming he's going a more tanky oriented style. Most Rek'Sai's go Conqueror for the skirmishing power or sometimes Hail of Blades for the quick Fury stack into true damage bite combo. But since top lane matchups, especially between two tanks like this game, are more slow paced and quick trade based, Grasp will serve well in this game. Honestly, the more I think about it, I think G2 picked this for a Cassante matchup. The Rek'Sai can function well into tanks for all the reasons I mentioned before, but if she were into a more caring champ like Gwen, Fiora, or Gangplank, I think she might struggle, and she would definitely get outscaled. For itemization, Broken Blade built Sunfire first into Spirit Visage. The Sunfire is fine for wave clear and melee range skirmishes, but the Spirit Visage is a bit confusing to me. The enemy team only has one AP threat, and Rek'Sai's passive healing is very laughable, so the bonus on that won't be getting much value. He builds into Sterix last, which is very good. I think we can assume he would go into something like Frozen Heart, Jack Show, or Titanic last items, which all make sense. Generally, just building tank items with some typical bruiser standbys mixed in. Honestly, I'm really excited to see this pick develop and maybe see some more pro play worldwide. Then maybe I'll understand why it's actually good. Again, this video was really just me spitting out thoughts and reasoning through why it might be good, but either way, it's awesome to see creative picks coming out in pro play. Thanks for watching, see you next time.